Hello. It's quite cold. This may not last that long. Maybe a good idea is to stand next to the chimney here. Yeah, that is a little warmer already. <laughs> not bad. And uh, maybe I'll set you up here inside the chimney a little bit. By inside, I mean under the uh, chimney cap facing the flu honeycomb calcite uh, it's iffy and it's breezy so who knows <laughs> let's see if I can let you see the sky a little bit it's turning sunsetty so the thoughts of uh, sky Gonna let you see the sky before I say much more. Let's see if this helps you see the sky at all. I'm starting to see. Oh, I just maybe missed some of the yellows and oranges. I was up here meditating with them and uh, making some offerings. So I'm up on a roof, up on the roof here. And, uh, studio there. Uh, there's Megan out there. We'll take care of the horses. And um, you know usually somebody in Megan's position you know, might see somebody up on the roof and have thoughts of uh, somebody's life coming to an end. Uh, quite often that's the main reason you'd see somebody up on a roof. Or at least one of the main concerns that would occur to somebody. And uh, I'm just doing this particular meditation in honor of somebody who did just uh, lose their life with their own hands, at their own mind. And there's some, some color over the studio. And so. Uh, talking about Dakinis, the, uh, the Sanskrit term, the Pali term, Dakini, or sky goer, the uh, Chinese term could be translated as the one who walks to the source. That's the uh, southeastern sky at uh, and there's the uh, southwestern sky, or the western sky, and yet uh, the reds and pinks, salmon, orange, tangerine, plum is in the southeast. So anyway, the uh, one who formerly walks to source, and uh, Now that I've talked about uh, walking, I'll stop walking. To put everybody at ease, perhaps. And so I'm up here with the sky, but without this guy who passed away. It's easy to think that we come from the earth and we return to the earth. But the deeper level is uh, the sky. The true source is the sky. And so, Dakini, the sky goer, one who formerly walks in the source, through the source, to the source, from the source. Dakini are often caught up in a whole lot of uh, demon and Asura stories with Kali and so forth. But we don't need to make that our main focus. Our focus can simply be 
one who treads the sky. You know, Dakini could be translated as Skywalker, which may give you some ideas if you're of a certain age. And so I was just going to do a little meditation where I open to the sky as source and recognize that all under the sky are receiving. And so that it starts to help me transform my view from giver and doer to only receiver. So. Set the phone up on the lightning rod here and see if it'll balance a little bit. Perhaps ish. fall off the roof. <laughs> so I'll continue this uh, and light some sage and candles. But uh, there's a little view of the pond. Again, the eastern, southeastern sky over to the west. And uh, there's the new sage's seat. Beaver Pond and the chimney in the studio. So I'm gonna head back in side via the skylight. So thank you for joining me. My hands feel quite frozen. Love.